The first thing you need to do is be safe. Disconnect the appliance or turn off the breaker to avoid electric shock. Today we're going to be working on a GE refrigerator. This is a GE profile, as you can see. And the problem that we have in is that the LED light for the refrigerator side is not working. There's the model number. And whether I have the uh, switch pressed or not, the light is not working at all. So the first time I took this apart, I thought that the main control board is the one who controls the LED light as well, but at the same time, it didn't make sense to me and I couldn't see anything else. Some of the LED lights brings their own control board on site, but this one in particular was not the, the, the case. Now, as you can see behind this water valve, it's a transformer. It's hiding there, it's hard to see, it took me a little while. I couldn't find any information about this um, case online. Uh, but I look, I look, I look, and it's hard to see because there's a lot of wires behind there. The water valve is in the way. And it's a, a little complicated job. This part that I'm removing right now is not really necessary to remove, but I did it anyways to have more space to work. Now, I'm disconnecting some of the wires. As you can see, the, I'm doing some tests to find out if the LED light um, transformer is bad or not. Like right now, I should be getting here 24 volts, if I remember correctly, on the purple error. And on the yellow error, I should be getting um, 120 volts. Now, I got the... Uh, harness that provides 120 volts uh, to the transformer this is an input um, 120 volts I'm not getting any voltage because you got to remember you need to have the door open that way the switch the door switch sends 120 volts um, to this harness So I did when and opened the door and test and then I, I am getting 100 and, um, 120 volts for um, the uh, uh, power supply that goes to the transformer at the harness but I'm not getting 24 volts coming out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove the water valve that is on the way. I'm putting a, a piece of rag for uh, be prepared to water to spill. As you can see, uh, I try to remove only whatever is necessary to be able to get to the uh, transformer in the back. Disconnecting all the harness. Trying to wipe up uh, some of the water from the floor. You gotta uh, be careful with this uh, water hose because it will drain the water from the water tank inside the refrigerator. So, I mean, the water tank that is inside the refrigerator will start um, draining the water from the tank. So you need to come up with some kind of, put up tape on it or just plug it back in the water valve to prevent this from keep leaking the water. Now, as you can see, you need to remove those screws from the top. It's two screws on the top and one screw on the bottom. 
and that's what is holding the uh, bracket that uh, secures the transformer. I know this is taking some time, but I try to speed up the uh, video. I try to give you as much information I can. So I speed it up, but I didn't cut some other stuff because I want you to guys to see how it comes out. You have to wiggle it a little. Just always be careful with the freon lines and the harness and the wire and the water hoses and there it is there is the transformer this is the part who transforms 120 volts to um, 24 volts DC to um, that particular light this one only controls the um, refrigerator side LED light I was surprised. I thought it includes, uh, it provides uh, 24 volts for the one on the freezer too, but no, it's only for the refrigerator side. This is the new one. And we're gonna proceed to install the new transformer on this refrigerator. There is the uh, brand new transformer and I plug it in to make sure I'm getting low voltage and I am. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, install it. I decide to plug it in on the high voltage and test because you never know when it can be anything else. I, I was making sure that it was the transformer because it's not cheap. I think I pay over a hundred dollars for this transformer. So I want to make sure if I install it, that is, it, it is the transformer. So I plug it in before I install it and it did get me coming out um, 24 volts. So uh, I was pretty confident that this was going to take care of the issue. I'm sorry again to be getting on the way, but this is the only way I could do this job. Didn't have any helper or anything who can help me to hold the uh, camera, but uh, I'm quite sure that you guys are gonna uh, find this video useful if you come to a, a, a LED light uh, problem on this model. Uh, remember this is a GE made by GE I know a lot of the new GE's are made by Samsung which I think that was very ridiculous because Samsung is not my favorite brand but um, I already work in a couple refrigerators GE and then when I look for the part it comes in a Samsung bag or in a Samsung box 
and you can tell the refrigerator when you looked at it that it's made by if it's made by Samsung or not. And up to this day, I find out that GE sold their manufacturing to a higher brand, which that's the name. Of, I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. If, if I don't, <clears throat> if I'm not saying it correctly, just uh, correct me on the comments. Uh, that's what I heard that they sold their manufacturing to a a, a brand a brand a brand name um, higher, and they raised the price on the parts. So now every time I want to replace a part on the GE, it costs like 15, 20 percent more than before. So. Not good for people that owns GE products. Make sure you put um, the screw that holds the uh, water valve in place. Make sure you connect all the water hoses, all the harness that you disconnect. Make sure you uh, plug it the right way and make sure they are secure. That way you prevent a go back on the job that you are doing. As you see, I had to disconnect uh, the harness that provide low voltage to the uh, inverter and the harness that provide high voltage to the inverter. Inverter is uh, the part that turns on the compressor. It's like a relay. So I had to disconnect everything to be able to have access. I didn't like this part because sometimes when you remove the water hoses from this water valves, um, they won't go back uh, the same way and then they might start leaking. That's why every time I disconnect anything from any water valve or any water adapter, there is um, clip in. I cut a little piece of the water hose that way the, the piece that is already being squished is not the same piece that is going back in. Every time I cut a little piece, like a three quarters of the water hose, then it, it, it's like new. So it will, stop, it will prevent um, the rubber inside from leak, the actual water valve from leaking. I know it's a harness on the Y uh, sensor there that I didn't plug in but I realized that I didn't plug it in and I came back and, and did it you're not going to see it on the video but it is plugged in just want to let you guys know if you caught that I did came back and uh, plugged uh, that's a water sensor that's what it tells the uh, display on the front how much water you you get in on a cup like 2 or 3 ounces and things like that I went to the front of the refrigerator to grab some water, make sure the water is coming out right, and get all the air that got caught on the lines. Um, because remember, I disconnect the water hoses from the water valve, and I make sure that it, nothing is leaking on the actual water valve as well. Right now, I'm gonna put the um, cardboard back panel. And just make sure you put all the screws that you remove from the back panel to uh, uh, prevent the cardboard from coming off.
this job is pretty much done. Remember the profile. And as you can see, the light is working the way it's supposed to. Turn it on and off at uh, the uh, door switch. And it's working perfect. If this video helped you in any way, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future videos. Thanks for watching.